Well, good morning. So um, I've been playing with van security got, after I got my backpack stolen. So uh, I wanted to go over uh, what I've kind of added to the van to make it a little bit more se secure. Now it's never going to be like what you think it, how to safe you would like it. You could weld the door shut and people will still be able to break in if they have time and they're not worried about making noise. Um, so it's just meant to slow people down or to give them some pause that it might might be more work than it's worth to break in and maybe go break into just somebody else's uh, van. Um, so I'll j just show you what I've done so far. So one uh, thing is I don't have a ladder on on the outside. Um, a lot of people uh, have been broken into by they go up on the roof, yank out the vent, and and then jump jump down. <laughs> Like I say, if they want to break in, they're gonna gonna do it. So I've got a ladder inside the van that's a telescoping ladder. The uh, next thing is I have in interior locks, uh, which I'll show you. So uh, uh, this is the lock on one side, and this is the lock on on the other. So there's a little hole right uh, here, and uh, these uh, these two join, and uh, you can put a put a, a lock through that so up in here I've got a, a little little in a pocket which has two uh, things one is it's got just decent sized cara carabiner and the second one is it's got a uh, lock so 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 you can choose which which one which one you want to lock uh, through that so if you're in a campsite by yourself maybe uh, my wife might might be uh, might be alone, uh, so she might just use the carabiner. Um, if I'm at a trailhead and I'm going to walk away for a week, I'll use the lock. Um, so I'll just show you. So that takes care of the two back doors. Okay. So uh, then the side door. How do you take care of that? Well, there's two ways. One, one is that there's a small small hole here which I drilled, uh, which will fit one of those locks. So what I did is I bought five locks off of Amazon and they're all keyed to the same key. So I only have one uh, key that works all the locks in the van. Now, again, I don't use the locks um, unless I'm walking away from the van for a day or two. So next is how to secure the front doors. These are actually the toughest. Just as I understand, it's pretty easy to, to you know, pry off these or to, or to break in. Why ProMaster or Rams couldn't make a little bit better locks, I don't know. but. Um, so this is how I just solve that. So I have these little brackets which um, uh, meet and there's a hole which which uh, they just both kiss up to each other and then I'll run either a lock through those holes or I'll run a, run a carabiner through those holes. Those, uh, those join together and I can either run a car carabiner through it or for the locks. Again, they're all key to the same thing. So it, it's just a matter of running the lock, lock that uh, way. Um, yes, they're a little bit awkward here in the front. So they do make a lock that you can buy. Um, it's made in Germany, which, which will fit on here and it just throws a, a deadbolt out. Um, I probably would have bought that, but then um, they were out of stock for like ever. So I, I've got to get it now and not into six, six months from uh, now. So. I might add that later. I'll leave a link below in in the description for um, um, that uh, uh, deadbolt. But for now, it's just this. So coming over to the to the driver's side, same same. Just a, so to put these these in, I used uh, riv nuts, and then this one's a little different in that the parking brake gets in the way. So. Um, I, I put in this in the same same so that so that this can be locked with either the carabiner um, if you're just say in the van and you just want to make uh, sure no one can can uh, uh, pry the door open while uh, you're asleep or with a lock. So say you're in the van and uh, you're in a sketchy place and you want to lock all the doors. So this bar has a carabiner on it. Uh, this bar has a carabiner on it. The back door right there has a carabiner on it. How do you how do you get uh, uh, this one locked? So you just make a little stick 
and then that 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 will just prevent that door from being pried open um, if you if you're inside. So you basically uh, come into the van and uh, leave via the side side door. Now, if the side door didn't work, you could still take off the the carabiners pretty quickly. Um, so I think that's about as good as it's gonna gonna get. So then the question comes in: Okay, if they break into the glass, they crawl in, can they drive the van away? There's a thing with ProMasters where if the seats are not locked forward, it, it uh, won't go into drive. Um, so there are lots of things you could do, kill switches and uh, that kind of thing. So one kind of easy way is just to lock one of the seats um, in a not forward thing. So, so we usually have the seats turned around to watch t TV, so it's a pretty easy fix. And I'll just show you how I do that. So there's the seat locked forward. So you just turn it around, and if you look right down here, there's a small hole drilled. So that fits one of the locks, and uh, there's that lock in place. And it'll turn to a certain point, but it starts to, to bang into the frame. Now, yes, you could take off this butt bolt, or you could cut the locks, but, you know, this is not going to ever be full uh, foolproof, but you can't turn the, the seat, seat around. So this current current setup has a lock here. It's got a lock over there. That's two. Got a lock here. That's three. The door gets gets locked there, and there's a lock there. That's five. Five locks. And lastly, I added a burglar alarm. You'd think that they would make these things come standard with it. So it's a Viper. Um, it comes with a little key key fob, which I'll. Uh, which uh, looks like this, um, and um, it, it just seems to work pretty good. In it, it's got a, um, a infrared sensor, and it's also got a glass, glass breakage sensor. It, it will go off if you just rock the uh, van. Um, it's got a, also a proximity um, alarm, which, which will chirp when, uh, when uh, you get too close. So as you walk up to it, it'll, it'll, it'll go chirp, chirp, to tell people that, to that uh, there's a active alarm in this van and maybe try to, to someone else's. So, I mean, you could add um, closed circuit cameras, <laughs> um, which if I'm in a trailhead, that's gonna be kind of hard, right? Cause I'm gonna be 30 miles away. Um, I probably won't get any kind of cell, cell coverage and then uh, um, it, they'll probably just steal them. <laughs> So if they couldn't get in through the locked doors, they would just, just basically have to break the, break the glass out, crawl in through a broken glass, take what they want, and then crawl back out the window. <sighs> if they're willing to do that, maybe they earned the, <laughs> the, the, the uh, uh, right to take used junk of, uh, of mine. But I mean, there's a limit to how far you can go and how crazy you can get with it. And I don't want to get too, too, too far out. I mean, this has got to be enough. So that's my thoughts on uh, van security. Um, other than just, you know, parking in a well-lit place and, and parking where it uh, looks safer than just other spots. And we all have that kind of feeling that this is probably not a good place to park. Um, so I'll try not to leave the van at trailheads when I, when, when I can. I'll try to leave it close to someone's someone's business or just somewhere where they have active security cameras working uh, that would deter people. But you know, it's still no no guarantee. So that's what I think about van security. <laughs> I'm not doing any more than that.